Hi, this is Paul again. Now I'd like to introduce you to part 11 of Cubic Wonder. In this video, I've decided to have a look at the flower of life and to compare it with Cubic Wonder and see how it fits in. You can see that she fits in spot on. If you look on the outside axe of this flower of life, I have left the outside axe missing. The reason I done this is because their marks belong to the next generation. I guess this makes the flower of life never ending. Maybe that's why they put the outside boundary ring. I also have a feeling that they wanted to show that the 3x, 3 cubes by 3 cubes by 3 cubes, is the basic unit for life itself. Okay, the flower of life itself is a simple two-dimensional drawing in isometric view of a three-dimension set of cubes. The 3D set of cubes must be in the ortho mode or zero perspective mode. Look what happens when I change the perspective. Let's rotate it 90 degrees around to take another look. We'll bring it back and then we'll slice it down to the macabre and look how it fits. I guess them old scholars knew what they were doing. We are in the top view now, so we'll rotate it back to give us the front view again. Now we'll drop down this Plato 3x 86.603 and we'll bring in a 3x Bucky cube arrangement. The Bucky and the Plato cubes are like dueling cubes. Universities haven't showed any interest in this, but I have shown that this gives us perfect DNA geometry. Okay, let's take the Bucky 3x to the top view. Again, you can see that we have a spot on match. Okay, we'll take the Bucky back to the front position and we'll give it a slice into a perfect half. Now we'll drop the flower of life and put it next to the new face. So look, we have a face that shows hexagons, just like graphene. I think I'm pro I can probably give you nanotubes as well, but uh, I haven't got to that yet. I've got so many things to show you about this system, but uh, I'd, I'd like to focus a little bit more on the flower of life. So we'll go back to the flower of life. I show purple arcs on the outside perimeter. This is the 3x boundary. Now we'll chop down to the 2x boundary. And finally, we'll chop down to the single 1x boundary. Now let's give it a purple sphere in the center. And we'll keep chopping it down until we are down to one element, a vertical line in the center. Okay, I'm gonna put this X1 back together just like fractals. I guess with all this symmetry and order, I would probably fail a fractal exam. Now I'm just gonna keep the outside purple and yellow perimeter and the purple center sphere also. What we have here is the bare essentials to show the growth geometry. It's just like a plant that's run out of water and stopped growing and starting to shrivel up. Okay, let's give it some water and a bit of sunshine and let's see what happens. Wow, look at the way she's growing. And I haven't even used any fractal fertilizer. I think this is how life works. It's got a little trace of the history of the geometry. This is then stored and then we can bring it back to give us complex geometry. This is how I look at how fractals work. They just keep building on themselves all the time. But this is two dimension, it's not three dimension. So it's just a two dimensional indication of how it works in 3D. It'll be impossible to get all the 3D vectors on two dimension. Okay, I'm going to show some other shapes. It doesn't have to have symmetry and order. They can start making many shapes. She'll make triangles increasing in size, just like they show in universities. But the flower of life will put the triangles together without producing triangular gaps. Flower of life builds on itself very precise. It ensures that there is a perfect order in space. There's none of this copying and scaling and moving copies around. If you look in front, you'll see two lines. And with the geometry, it produces three lines. So this is a fractal iteration given perfect position and length. I would say 
the flower of life is the most perfect fractal system. So I'm going to call it a day now. So this is Paul saying thank you very much for watching my video.